molecular orbital diagram for O2 with a plus two charge. Let's start with the atomic orbitals for oxygen atoms on their own. You have a 1s shell, well, subshell. You have a 2s subshell, and then you have three 2p orbitals in the 2p subshell. Oxygen normally brings eight electrons each, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to change the number of electrons later. Again, oxygen has a 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 electron configuration. I'm making sure that my 1s's are at the same level, 2s's are at the same level, 2p's are at the same level, because these are the same atom. They're supposed to have the same energies on an orbital by orbital basis. Now you can actually ignore the 1s, it's an inner shell here, but if you wanted to draw it, the 1s's would overlap and you would get a sigma 1s bonding orbital and a sigma 1s antibonding orbital. The average height of these two lines should be the same as the average height of these two lines. You're not creating any energy here. The 2s's will overlap in a similar way. You get a sigma 2s bonding orbital and a sigma 2s antibonding orbital. When the 2p orbitals overlap with each other in oxygen or fluorine or neon, your lowest energy molecular orbital is going to be a sigma 2p bonding orbital. Then you have two pi 2p bonding orbitals, two pi 2p antibonding orbitals, and a sigma 2p antibonding orbital as well. Note that one, two, three, four, five, six atomic orbitals will overlap to give one, two, three, four, five, six molecular orbitals when they overlap. Now, to fill this molecular orbital diagram, we're gonna have to calculate the number of electrons here. If I include the first shell, then each oxygen brings eight electrons, and there are two of them. But with a positive two charge, it means I've lost two electrons total, which means that I have 14 electrons in this species. Fill them from the bottom up, Aufbau principle, and if I get up to this height, I have to spread them out before I double them up. That's another quantum mechanical rule called Hun's rule. Let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's my fourteen electrons. Here's the filled molecular orbital diagram for O2, 2 plus. Your teacher might ask you for the bond order which is one half of the number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus the number of electrons in antibonding orbitals. You'll have to count that to calculate it. Bonding means no asterisk. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten electrons in bonding orbitals. One, two, three, four, four electrons antibonding. 10 minus 4 is 6. Cut that in half. It's 3. Oh, this species is triple bonded, kind of like nitrogen is. In fact, this is isoelectronic with nitrogen, except my orbitals are at different energy levels. Nice. So this is a stable species, a whole number bond order, triple bond, strong covalent bond between the two oxygens. But this is what you came for, the drawn molecular orbital diagram. Best of luck.